Hello and welcome, my friends. It's Rob here from Explominate here with the Iron Oath, a game that I actually played through the demo with, and I'll link that down below because that will kind of give you an idea of where like the it's a tutorial basically of the like initial part of the story of this game, and I played that in the demo form, and now I have the early access version, and I'm super excited to be playing it because it is basically like a Darkest Dungeon meets Ben. Band of Brothers, Band of Brothers, yeah, that game, Battle Brothers, Battle Brothers game, there we go, and, you know, it's a mercenary management tactical RPG, and I really, really like it, I think the pixel art is amazing, I think the gameplay is a lot of fun, and the character depth, like the character creation depth, can get really pretty cool, so I wanted to play it for a few episodes and see what you guys thought, and, and like I said, if you, if you need to, if you need to kind of catch up to see where I am, Go back, I'll go ahead and link the demo playthrough in the description below, and you can check it out. But right now I'm just going to start to kind of play some missions. You know, I've got an active mission now to close the Void Breach, which is down here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It takes 11 days to get down there. We're going to go ahead and take care of it. We're going to breach that void, or avoid that breach, or close it, or whatever we're doing. Alright, so we've got a couple characters that have already kind of developed through like I've, like I said I played through the initial part of it and I think you're we've got Stormcaller, a pugilist and a Valkyrie and I think oh you know what there's two pyro lancers I'm gonna try the Valkyrie and I, I think I'm gonna get rid of one of these for now even though they're level two and start leveling up my pugilist here it's kind of like a monk all right, select provisions. We're gonna go ahead and drop a small health potion. We use the tool for the traps. And do a bandage and probably another small health potion. We'll venture forth. Venture forth. All right, the Iron Oath. Let's see what it's all about. We're gonna go ahead and right click. So every time I do anything, it applies to my time modifier. And each time this goes through a full revolution something happens usually something bad it kind of like encourages you to not mess around you notice a stone block on the ground that doesn't match the surroundings it looks out of place and doesn't belong upon further examination it seems to be some sort of trap attempt to disable the mechanism that triggers a trap so that'll take three here three revolutions you manage to disable the mechanism being used to create the trap all right and we can look this way. Maybe oh, there's a fight there. And there appears to be something there. We'll go to the fight. Let's do it. Fight. Combat in this game is fantastic. Utterly amazing. I love it. All right, you're going to come over here, and then you're going to start hitting people with your skewer. Or actually, we'll just spear thrust. There you go. Oh, that hurts. Don't hurt me. Oh, man. Come on, we can't miss. You can't do it. It's not okay. There we go. Yeah, what I really like about this game, too, is that all the character classes are really just unique. And not only in their name, but also in their like, ability skill set. So I really like that. I think that's... Just, you know, it's, it's, I mean, I want to say unique. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another word. <laughs> I already said unique. So, it is individualistic, I guess. I don't know. It's just something very specific to this game that I really like. I've just never heard of, like, something called, like, a pyrolancer before. And I really like the idea of having monks and Valkyries and stuff like that. Like, this is really cool to me. Looks like we're gonna get a critical, that's awesome. Should have moved him. That was a bad idea. So can't move you. Once I get conditions, crescent wave, sidekick. Why can't I move you? I guess we'll punch that. Nice. There we go. Bring him back to the void. I love the animations in this game. They're just, just fantastic. Yeah. 
come back over here. We'll see if we can kill you fast. Oh, yes. Another critical. I'm mean, really lucky with those. Very good. All right, we'll loot all, and we'll move on. And we don't actually... We didn't take that much damage, which is good. All right, let's see. Let's look through here. Oh, it looks like another battle. And like I said, so we've gone through 20 revolutions. Now it's injury plone, one misstep from lapse, and judgment is all it takes to get seriously hurt around here. One can only concentrate on so many things. Your chances of incurring an injury have increased significantly. That sucks. All right, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and fight. We'll fight again. All right, these things blow up. I remember that. Right, we're going to start combat from here. And we'll run you over here. I should have gone through, actually. So I could skewer. No! Let's see if we can move you over here. And then... Let's see, one body and soul. No, we're not to sidekick. Come on! Two misses! I'm trying to... Oh my god, three misses? Seriously? game hates me it hates me oh and I got a critical hit too all right let's go ahead and pyro lance through you 170 is a good hit well I got lucky last time and now I'm not getting so lucky all right you need to die you did die. That's good. Good for you. Happy you died. All right. Now, champions are grant target plus 50% power and plus one movement for one round. No, that's not going to be enough. We're going to do this. We're going to try to kill it. There we go. Good. Done. Let's blazing lance this guy. And all right, let's... Go ahead and concentrate our efforts on this one. If I miss again, I swear to God, I'm gonna fire you all. Nice. Alright, well, we're gonna finish you off. And then come over here and try to take you out. It's a point where they end up blowing themselves up. I don't know if you, you can kill them before they do that. Looks like I might be able to. Yes, I'm going to be able to. So we'll go ahead and take him out. Oh, maybe not. There we go. All right, good to go. So that anguish thing is when they build themselves up and they hurt everybody around them. And we're going to have to do something about all of this damage we've taken. So... Not ideal that we had to use all of them. Maywin holds up her hand and freezes. Eyes raised to the crumbling ceiling, which look ready to give way at any moment. They glance back your direction. Uh, we'll have to take it. No way. One by one, you're commanding to smooth with care and slowly edge clear of the hazard. You group, regroup on the other side, all breathing a sigh of relief. Yeah. Hmm. Another combat. All right. We can do this. Right, you're gonna go over here. You go over here, here, and we'll set you back over here. There we go. All right, so come in here and start wailing on this whaler. Nice. Let's see, rapid fire. Let's try it. Good, nice. Good start. Good start. Let's keep the momentum. Fire Lance you. And we're going to kick you on the side. Just like that. And we'll rapid fire you. Kick you out. So I'm going to be done with it. And... 
come around here to take you out. And I think what I can do is actually hit that guy into that. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> Move out of the way. Hit you. Nice. Alright, and then we can move everybody out of the way. We'll be alright. Guard X. Over here. Guard X. And let you blow yourself up. Bye. Demon's blood. Alright, great. We've gained a level with a pugilist. So, we'll... Increase physique, which increases health as well, and then finesse also increases power. So we'll do that. And then with you, I think the sidekick is something we're gonna wanna. Oh, that's the crescent wave. All right, my bad. Yeah, I, well, I guess that's not really. We're not really using those yet. Plus one movement per round, increase damage, and then gain additional charge. Increase evasion by thirty percent for one round. Sunder armor reduces defense. All right, well, that sounds great. Let's do that. And our Valkyrie, awesome. So our Valkyrie, our Valkyrie. All right, so increase power, increase defense and morale. And power, let's do both, one of each for now. And then that's not something we use, but we want to use this. So I'm gonna try to get to that point. Increase damage by 25% and eviscerate. Yes, that's good. All right, loot all. Great, so your pros are now well prepared for your presence and prepared accordingly. Increased chance of ambush and remaining counters by 10%. 10%? 10%. Cause that's a word, All right? All right, so we can rest our party. Let's go ahead and do that since we're at that point. All right, so you can modify incense and restore vitality. And I don't think anybody needs help, so we could just do that. What do we have? Yeah, we only have we have it, ten incense points. Oh, we can also do that. All right, let's do that. Recover twenty five HP for every battle. You jolt awake. The, your rest is disturbed by a far off noise. Let's investigate the noise. Oh, good. It was just a creature. All right, we didn't we didn't get into battle. That's good. Clearing the way won't be easy. Use your hands and move the rebel side and clear a path. Use a shovel to clear the way. Yes, we have a shovel. Very good. Oh man, all right, which way? Ooh, I'll take that. Lone satchel, open the satchel. No, pursued weak ale. We're gonna incur another one of these modifiers. There we go. Let's see what it is as the, as the mission drags on. You find it difficult to maintain proper discipline and formation. Deployment phase is now skipped. Cool. Thanks. All right, so deployment is now not a thing. X. Hit X over here too. Bring you back this way. Starts wailing on this guy. We'll go ahead and use the fire lance. Come through here. Actually, we'll come here and then karate crescent wave. Yes. Nice. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. That worked though. can come over here actually right here and we'll do the skewer nice worked out well then I got hit hard 
But it won't matter because I'm about to kill ye. Actually, let's see. Return to Cinder? What the hell? Uh, Alright, Infernal Pillar. Deal damage to tar two targets in a row. I should have moved over there then. That's not where I should have moved. Dang it. Oh well. Crescent wave this sh oh wait. Does that mean they're gonna hit them too? Nope. Sweet. Alright, you fell, which is great. Bon voyage. And we're gonna finish you off now. See you later. Good to go. Almost another level over here. And she's not doing too well, so let's see if we can use like a bandage. Is that all it's gonna do? Yeah, it's not that much. All right, whatever. Keep going. Oh, we're gonna we're there. Mysterious light flickers erratically up ahead, accompanied by the sound of an unnatural humming that can be only described as evil in nature. You approach the breach, a swirling vortex of dark energies and peer into its center, wondering what lies on the other side and resisting the sudden urge to find out. Yurik looks on with marvel. Have you ever seen such a thing? It's almost beautiful in a way. Terrifying, more like. Minder sticks out an arm, preventing Yurik from wrenching your forward for a closer look. Let's not forget why we've come. Alright, so. I'll let you read the rest. Demons, prepare yourself for a fight. Okay. Why'd they go over there? Yeah, we're gonna set up here. X. X gonna give it to ya. Alright, you come over here. Set up in the rear. And my power lancer. We'll return to order here. You avoided my little mark. Yeah, to hit. Oh man. No bueno. Don't you miss, please. That was not a very good hit. Alright, go ahead. Oh no. Almost. We'll finish her off. No, we won't, because you suck. Let's just hit you and see what it does. Alright, definitely not the best thing ever. I want to just see what that does. Okay, that's actually a pretty good hit. I'm trying to avoid that spot, but then in doing so, I actually got hit anyways. I should have just stayed there. Don't like it. Mm. Alright, attack him. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I accidentally pushed X. I was dumb. Blades that are meant to kill me. Alright, you die. Please die. There we go. I think that means we beat somebody pretty difficult. And now you're going to blow yourself up. Okay. Kablooey! X. 
Excellent. All right, great. So Maywin the Huntress has gained a level. Can I grab one of these? Aim in any direction and channel for five turns. Damage all. Well, let's try this. Unlock ability. That sounds pretty cool. So physique's going to give me some extra health and finesse is going to give me some extra power. But I only have one, so let's go ahead and do... Um, yeah, we'll do we'll do that. Oops, spin points. Where, where's the other point? We can do more here? Yes, we can. So increase damage by 25%. There we go. Confirm. Loot all, and let's go. With the last demon slain, everyone quickly turns their attention back to the breach itself, fearing the arrival of additional monsters from the void. Hurry now, we won't survive another attack. Close the breach. You throw the pouch into the void breach center, and it disappears from view. Everyone takes a cautious step back as blinding light begins to emanate from within, forcing you to shield your eyes. After a sudden whoosh, you peer above your raised arm to see the breach destabilizing and blinking from existence. Wasn't sure that would work. The circle's full of surprises, it seems. We should report back immediately. Yes, let's do that. Before we die. Alright, cool. So let's come back over here. We're going to go travel back to An Andalon. Oh, cool. So I had somebody healing, and they're back now. Peering up before the darkened sky, you spotted a flock of birds flying with haste across your view, their black wings barely visible against the backdrop. Hard to believe it's morning. Is it morning, right? Can't tell of late with the sky being so damn dark. Just then a thunder, thunderous boom draws everyone's attention, bringing your caravan to a swift halt. You fix at your eyes in the sound's direction, not sure what you're expecting to see, but starting, sorry, staring intently, nonetheless. The sky darkens further, now black as night, and a few people begin fumbling around trying to locate and light up torches. What in the... A terrifying otherworldly roar is heard in the distance, and moments later a dragon of indescribable size rips through the sky's very fabric and into full view, dark energy scattering all around it, with wings flapping as it twists through the air. So this is kind of what happened in the end of the demo, only this time I got to do something before that started. So there goes that town. We should press on toward Andalon and consider ourselves lucky that it chose not to attack this region. There will be void spot in the dragon's wake, however, and the vanguard may require further assistance. Alright. Yeah, lucky indeed. Enter city, and we'll come over here and complete our quest. You move with purpose throughout the city of Andalon, ignoring the rush of panicked, wide-eyed citizens moving all about you. You near the vanguard garrison and observe the officer hurriedly delivering the last of his, his orders to nearby soldiers. He dismiss, dismisses them and walks through the scattering ranks towards you. Your mission is a sec success, I gather. I could use some good news. The breach is closed. Well, that's one less thing to worry for us. I'm grateful, truly. Tell me, what was there a sign of the party that I sent beforehand? Was there any sign of the party I'd sent beforehand? We couldn't find them. Better than some alternatives, I suppose. Perhaps they'll turn up yet. He bids you to follow him inside and close the door behind you, only partially blocking out the noisy streets of the city beyond. Uh, where were you out there when the dragon arrived? He shudders, caused a downright panic here in the city. I bet it's there more to be done. We're ready. He leans over his desk, desk his brow furrowing. There is indeed, he nods towards the table map. The horde of void spawn are approaching the city, and they will be here within a matter of days. Unfortunately, much of our forces are occupied elsewhere and cannot be recalled in time. The city guard will, of course, be in getting involved, but I will say no to I won't say no to extra help. Yep, we'll do that. I'm glad to hear it. And of course, before I forget, he raises hand beckoning his assistant who approaches with a sack full of coins. Here is your payment for your previous job with more yet to come. Should we survive this ordeal? We're preparing our defenses just out the side of the city. Meet, uh, meet me there when you're ready, but don't take too long. We haven't much time before those bastards are upon us. Alright, so now we have company upgrades. And we've already done some team building, which is going to increase the rate which loyalty is gained in force training, which leaves us to travel faster on the overworld. So, these are locked. Company upgrades, expedition, satchel size, provisions, capacity for missions increased by two. That's actually good. Supply lines is also transfusion. Incense can be burned when camping to give special buffs to the party. Let's come over here and actually do 
Oh, 10% discount provisions purchased from your... That's actually good, too. We'll do that. All right. And what's all this other stuff? Can buy upgrades. All right. So we have swords and cloth wraps and stuff. Has to be added in a future early access update. All right. What we'll do is we'll... Skedaddle out of this. See if we can buy something good for our people. So we have we could do hide coats, which is gonna help people. Average price. Oiled leather. Oh no. Actually, how do we apply these to people? Current roster. Let's see. Gear. There we go. Oh wait. Epic medium. Wow, that's actually really good. So, why would I? Oh, they don't have any. She doesn't have any either. Okay, so the people that I get that I hire don't have anything. He's got this because he's my character, like my initial character. In fact, let's change. Rob Honaker and we'll change to green is there green yep all right and then we'll do your hair to black And I wonder if we can do like a facial hair thing. We can. So we're going to do that. Let's see what kind of... Oh yeah, we'll do that. I wish I could give him a different type of hair. Balding. I can. Let's see if it's just bald. Period. I should give him Viking black. That looks cool. Alright. Hair, skin, outfit. Let's do... These are awesome. I like that one. So we'll do that. Alright, so we can actually buy stuff that will help. So... Let's see what we got. We can do hide coat for somebody. Or leather scale. Coat of plates. Lord. But it's going to reduce our speed and move. Hmm. Wish there was a way to figure out. Based on. Okay, let's, let's go back. I know this sucks. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm trying to figure out how I can best, like, understand what my people have. So, gear. They don't. Okay. I can give him cloth wraps. There we go. And a cloth vest. And then these guys, I guess, use some sort of pole arm. The Valkyrie uses a pole arm. So does the Pyrolancer. And she could use a bow. Let's see if we could do that. We'll find a pole arm for the Valkyrie and then a bow if we have it. There we go. A bow. A bow. And then, is this, is this, oops, not a pull arm. Okay. Well, there's no pull arm, but we'll do that instead. And we'll go ahead and give you that. So, it was her, yes, it was. Gear, go ahead and give it to her. I can give you that, that's good. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Nope. All right. Let's see if we can go ahead and rest. And then we'll be ready for the next episode. Buy around. Give everybody some drinks. And is there anything we can... Yeah, nobody really worth it yet. We've got people that we're already working on making better, so... Alright, so stay tuned for the next episode as we go and we check on the 
Vanguard, just outside Endalon, and we'll go ahead and fight these Scourge off. I think this game's great. I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are too, and by the time you see this, it should be out the very next day, and then on top of that, we'll have a podcast interview with the developers out, so check those things out, because I think, you know, this game is worth, worth your attention, so... Worthy of your attention is probably a better way of saying it. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Rob from Explominates. Until next time, keep exploring.